So in this video, I want to write each of these in modulus argument form. OK, so let's start off with eight. So remember, draw a quick little diagram of each one so you can visualize what's going on. So there we are. So the eight, so that's the real axis and imaginary axis. OK, so clearly the modulus of this is just eight. OK, and the angle that it's making with the real axis is zero. So the argument zero. So you'd be able to write this as eight lots of, okay, so r times now cosine of the angle, so cosine of zero plus i sine zero. So that is in now in modulus argument form. Okay? Now as for four i, so four i. Well, the modulus is 4. The argument here is going to be pi over 2. So this would be 4 cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2, like that. OK? Right, minus 4i. Now, if we're looking at minus 4i, OK, so that looks like that. And clearly the modulus is 4. The argument is minus pi over 2. So we'd have 4 cosine of minus pi over 2 plus i sine of minus pi over 2. OK. Now, to be clear on that, OK, because cosine is referred to as an even function, and sine is an odd function. So this is, uh, this is stuff that you can find videos on for A-level maths. OK, I'll look at even and odd functions in that. Because cosine is an even function, cosine of minus pi over 2 is the same as cosine of pi over 2. So you could sink that minus sine into the cosine. So writing that as cosine of pi over 2. And because sine, of, uh, sine is an odd function, that minus sine can be brought through. And you get this. And that's why these two now look inherently linked, OK, as complex conjugates of one another. Now, those two mean the same thing, OK? Um, and either are really appropriate for modulus argument form. Um, but you can keep it like that if you wish. So, number four. So I'll just leave, get myself some space. So I'll just uh, leave it like that. So one plus root three i. So one along and root three up. So something like this. So one along, root three up. OK, so the modulus of it is 1 squared plus 3. So, uh, sorry, the modulus is the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 all squared. So 1 plus 3 is 4 squared, that is 2. So 2, lots of. Now I need the angle. OK, so what we've got, inverse tan of root 3, which is pi over 3. So 2 cosine pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3. OK, that's that one. Number 5. Root 3 take away i. Let's just rub that. So root 3 uh, take away i. So somewhere down here. Um, OK, so root 3 along and 1 down. OK, so its length, once again, is the square root of 1 squared plus root 3 squared. So square root that, 2. And this angle here 
is the inverse tan of 1 over root 3. So that's pi over 6. So it's 2 cosine of minus pi over 6, because we're below the real axis, plus i sine of minus pi over 6. OK? Right, last one. Minus 8 take away 6i. So minus 8 take away 6i, so somewhere down here. Okay, so that's minus 8, that's minus 6. So uh, that's 8, that's 6, like that. So what have we got? The square root of uh, 8 squared plus 6 squared. So square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared, is that 10? Yep. So length is 10. We just need that angle. So we need that angle there. So we work out that angle first, inverse tan of 6 over 8. So that's 0 0.6435, etc. Subtract that from pi, and we get 2.498, etc. So we want the negative of that. So cosine, I'll write them to uh, 3 sig fig. So minus 2.50. Uh, plus i sine minus 2.50. Okay? So that is how we can write each of these uh, complex numbers that are currently in Cartesian form into modulus argument form.